What is going on today guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here. Can I you guys with another video? So today I will be talking about um well where I get all my con like my um not ideas but where do I get all the deck recipes and everything, like the deck lists and everything from the J Japanese players so I can like kinda help myself based upon what I want to put in my own decks per se for some some of the decks that I know are more popular. So um we have to figure out the meta in Japan to future see what is going to happen in the future for our meta because uh, they get the cards before us and everything. So um, to start off, because I know you guys keep on asking about these questions anyways. Um, I'm going off topic every time. So on the topic, uh, starting off with Cardfight Vanguard since that's where the channel started. I use a site called, well, the official Cardfight Vanguard website except that you have, you put card list uh, and then you put, well, you push, all you have to do is in reality dot com slash deck recipe this part will come up uh the carless part right here will come up uh by itself but it might it might go directly to the english website so the best way to do that is uh see i'll just type this in deck recipe and i'll go in and then it'll bring since it's brought me to the japanese site already it will but um if it not if it brings you to the english one then just do what i just did there and just repeat it and it should do it on the second try so yeah, this place is pretty cool. Um, I do not suggest it's really different from the English one, which is a lot better. It, I mean, the Japanese one is a lot better because it gives better coverage and it tells you like, um, see this is the senior division in uh, uh, WGP 2013 of somewhere. I don't. I think it's Osaka or no no Tokyo. Sorry, and it tells you first place uh, what he ran exactly the numbers and then it tells you the abilities if you want because you can see things like that. It's pretty cool, so it's pretty helpful. I'd rather have pictures than uh, numbers and all that, just like the names, because like sometimes I'm like, okay, what does what's that name? And I don't feel like clicking on it, but like this way, at least you see ratios and you see numbers and everything. It's pretty cool, and you get to see the the box, so you can base upon like if you somebody like me who organizes cards like that, you know. So now uh, on for Way Schwartz side, uh, the best way would be going to w, the official side as well, but then doing slash deck recipe slash deck recipe dot html so unlike the other one where you just have to put deck recipe and put carless for you you actually have to do both deck recipe slash deck recipe dot html and the same thing is applied it'll probably bring you to the english site if you are in english like based around english and it'll just bring you directly to the japanese website and it's not that hard all you have to do is look at the dates here and if you want to see things previously before then you click on this link right here and it'll bring you to like the 2012 stuff and previously so um, what I like about this site is I still have yet to figure out like exactly what this all means because uh, I don't know what translations, but uh, I'm pretty sure that this is the first place deck. The one that comes first is usually first place, and these are all, I believe, Neo Standard. The top should tell you. I do not know the translations, but I just know that the decks, this is usually how I base around some of my decks around because I see what cards are good. So this way you get to see like the, the the boss card of the person, and then you get to just see it like this. It's not as nice, but then you'll notice that there's a lot of content in this, and there's some like sometimes there's explanations on the top deck, I believe, of what they well they have like a little talk about that, and they talk about you know the best cards that they had to use and everything, and it gives you a good index like index to what you can be using to build your own deck. And um, yeah, there's a bunch of it. So anyways, uh, moving on to how do I translate my cards, like if I had the Japanese cards or figure things out like that. I, for Way Schwartz, I use Little Akiba. So littleakiba.com slash TCG slash Way Schwartz. You can Google this and it'll probably be the first thing that you, you find because Little Akiba is also an online website that does not show where the TCG thing is. And it also gives you like the card market so you get to know and this is also applicable this side is also applicable for Cardfight Vanguard and also Victory Spark, Victory Spark cards right here. And it gives you translations and the picture. So say uh, I'll use the Fate Collide Liner Ilya Prisia. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know this car, they made this entire set um, non-relevant to the race of the Fate series, which is kind of interesting because some of the other cards are really good for this thing and um, it's kind of shocking. Now anyways, yeah, see so you get to see the picture and then if you recognize the picture, you get to, uh, let's click on, a, I haven't seen any of these cards, so let's just click on this. And then you see the you see the picture, and then you get to see the number, SP, Kaleidoscope, and all that type of stuff, and then the ability, and then the Japanese. 
So that's pretty cool. And it says like if there's a master, it'll show you relevant ones to masters, but it'll be related to all of the like entire series, like every single set that they can possibly relate it back to. So like say for Sword Art Online, it could be related back to Excel World just because of the fact that they're both like uh, avatars. Now, anyways, uh, if you don't know exactly the card, the card like what it looks like, or you know what the card number is and everything, you can go to Heart of the Cards, which is where you can also exchange your point sleeve th point thingies for uh, valuable uh, thingies. I don't remember what they're called, value uh, valuable uh, uh, prizes kind of for if you're playing with Japanese. And you get to do it for either card fight and or wish wars, and you get to pick them out. And then this is where you I, you'd also find that I get my card sleeve inserts for my uh, card fight vanguard. I mean my wish wars stuff that you guys have been asking about. And yeah, it's really cool because it gives you a bunch of information like the Japanese and also like the English, and it gives you like card of the day for both English and Japanese, which is pretty awesome. And then it got it also gives you like details on like stuff like that you wouldn't know about. Because, like, 22 U.S. Nationals, I didn't know about, like, the information until I found this out. So that's pretty awesome. And it gives you the deck list here. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I will now talk about Cardfight Vanguard for the last part since finishing off with the thing we began with. So for Cardfight Vanguard, I can you can probably assume that I either use this, this website, but I mainly just use Cardfight Vanguard Wiki for the rest of it because it's pretty awesome where you get to read the lores and everything and it's a pretty awesome site i would definitely suggest going to this website if you wanted to oh yeah it's a cardfight vanguard cardfight wiki cardfight.wikia.com you can probably look it up on a youtube i mean google and it's heart of the cards.com and then wish words if you want slash wish words or slash cfe a little akiba i've already told you about and yeah guys that pretty much concludes what i use to check out everything that i need for my decks and everything in based Japanese meta based, um, you can probably use Pojo and all that, but I'd rather just prefer using just seeing the decks as they are and then ba assuming off of what I know as a player what it is. And they also tell you the rules in these places which are really helpful. I highly encourage any player to go just check them out really quickly if you have the time and to learn a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please thumbs it up, subscribe, favorite it, share it. Just do whatever you can, guys. Please, it helps a lot. Anyways, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro. Signing off.